One year, when I was growing up, my parents got me a caterpillar as a pet. It was really cool. He was black with white and yellow stripes and had a lot of little feet. He liked to spend his days crawling around and eating leaves. I could spend hours just watching him. But one morning, I woke up and my caterpillar was gone. I looked everywhere, but all I could find was this little green thing hanging from one of the leaves. For two weeks, that was it. And then all of a sudden, one day, I found a butterfly flying around in the cage. But where did my caterpillar go? Well, what do you think? That's our big question for today. What happened to my caterpillar? To start investigating, let's take a closer look. Over their lifetime, insects like caterpillars change and grow. Insects are small animals with six legs, a hard outer shell, things like beetles, flies, or cockroaches. Insects' lives begin at birth, where they hatch from small, soft eggs. The baby insect is called a larva. Over time, the larva will grow, and as it grows, we call it a pupa. Now the insect continues growing until it becomes an adult. At this point, it can reproduce by laying more eggs, which then restarts the cycle. Then over time, the adult insects will grow older and eventually die. Now these four stages of birth, growth, reproduction, and death make up what's called the life cycle. Let's model the life cycle of our caterpillar together. Before I got it, my caterpillar hatched from a small, soft egg. Based on our model, what do we call the caterpillar right after it hatches? When insects like my caterpillar are born, they're called larvae. Therefore, our caterpillar is a larva. Now, over time, my caterpillar grew bigger, and then one day it vanished, leaving behind only this little green sack. But looking at the life cycle, what stage should the caterpillar be in right now? As insects grow and develop, we call them pupa. But growing for an insect is very different than for most other animals. In the pupa stage, the caterpillar seals itself off in a shell. That shell is the green sac we saw in the cage. It's called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar goes through something called metamorphosis. During metamorphosis, the appearance of our caterpillar will totally change. Well, think back. What were the characteristics of our caterpillar before it went into the chrysalis? Before it went into the chrysalis, our caterpillar was black with white and yellow lines and lots of little legs. But during metamorphosis, everything changes. Remember that butterfly we found in our cage? That butterfly actually is our caterpillar. While it was inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar goes through metamorphosis and it transforms into a butterfly. Now it has two colorful wings, it has six legs, and two little antennas. But this butterfly, it's really just the adult form of a caterpillar. Now as an adult, this butterfly can grow and reproduce by laying eggs. When these eggs hatch, what will they look like? Well remember, butterflies, they're just adult caterpillars. So a butterfly's eggs will look back like a caterpillar. So let's think back. What happened to my caterpillar? Well, all that happened was it grew up. The butterfly I found in my cage was just the adult version of a caterpillar. As caterpillars grow, they enter a chrysalis, where they go through metamorphosis and transform into butterflies. Based on what you've learned in today's lesson, which of the following shows the correct life cycle of a butterfly? Today we learned that when all insects are born, they're called larvae. Larvae grow and then eventually build a chrysalis where they go through metamorphosis. Once they finish metamorphosis, they come out of the chrysalis as butterflies. Therefore, the correct life cycle of a butterfly is this one. From this lesson, remember, insects go through a life cycle that includes birth, growth, 
reproduction, and death. As they grow, insects go through a process called metamorphosis, where they drastically change their appearance throughout their lives. And that's all for today, but stay curious.